Oh yeah, welcome back. And we're back out in the Lake District. And I normally come out on a Sunday because my work allows that, because it's a bit quieter. But today's Saturday and the weather window is great today, not so good tomorrow. Hence I'm out, back in the lakes. On my last video, when I was walking to Penrith from Windermere, I was walking the other side of this feature, basically level with it. Uh, and I, I said, I looked at it and said oh, to myself, that's a good place to wild camp. So behind me here is Grey Crag, uh, and that's where we're trying to get to the top of tonight, that there. And what we're doing at the moment, this little beck here is called Pasture Beck. We're following this up all the way. I think the track disappears, so it's going to be a bit of scrambling, a bit of climbing. You get to the top where the beacon is. Is it Thorn Crag Beacon? I think it is. I'll, I'll give your name up there when I get there. But that's what we're planning today. So you've got Heart Sock just down the bottom there. Uh, very busy going towards the Knotway. I've come along, as I said, this pa pasture back where it's quieter and we're trying to get to the top of that as I've mentioned. Yeah, so we're still moving along pasture back fresh weight cold to our foot to our front somehow we'll get up and over that and we've got ravens crag here absolutely stunning um, pasture back i think kind of the source of it is in a couple hundred meters and then it'll just start and um, becoming some little uh tributaries i think and that's where i want to smash some water now and uh that's my last place to fill up really because there's nothing on the top of a great crag. And hopefully in a few hours we'll be up there somewhere. Hopefully. But it's stunning, really is. The weather um, really is different when it's sunny and hardly any wind. But it's very warm. But you can't complain. Oh, just taking five. The track kind of surprised me. It's been a decent track, bit of scrambling, but we're coming to the base in a couple hundred meters of Thresher's Weight Cove, and somehow we need to get up there. And I'm hoping this path kind of continues. I can't actually see one, uh, but I, well, I don't know, but it, it looks like it goes like that. If that's the case, that's super steep. Really is a steep one. However, there's only one way to find out and that's stop sitting here chilling in the sun start getting back to work it's beautiful isn't it you can just hear past your brick but brook sorry down there uh, some more water and then i think we come down a bit uh, towards where the beck starts and that's where i'll try and get some water i think i'm gonna clear i'm gonna get up there Whichever way, it's going to be tough. The only way is up. Looks like we have got a little footpath. Hopefully it'll take us to the top looking back the way we've come. Still climbing, little way to go yet, 
And after scrambling down the bottom, I call these the Lake District Steps. You know, the rocks and bed that they've put in. Hard work though. It's kind of this bit now, we're not traversing, it's just straight uphill. So taking a break and then we'll go again. But you gotta sit back every now and again and just look at that, haven't you? Absolutely stunning. Oh, my phone's just got a signal as well, which is cool. So we've broke the top now. Overlooking in the distance there, Hawes Water Reservoir. So we're at the top of Threshethwaite Cove now. And then to get onto Grey Crag, we've got another little climb. Last little push, well, big push. Hopefully, get up there and then we can start. I think we'll see the beacon up there and then we'll start pushing that way. He says, hopefully, anyway, I'm going to have some, some to drink and a sandwich, get some more energy. I was climbing that behind me. Um, and then we'll have seen the beacon and that, but I've come across this little track, which I'm hoping will take me steadily up onto Grey Crag. Or oh, I could be very wrong. But you know what, there's some lovely spots of wild camp here as well. Really is, just on the edge there. Um, I'm sorely tempted. Um, I really am. But it's only early, so we'll, we'll keep pushing on to uh, Grey Crag. The only thing that's concerned, not concerning, the wind's picked up. I'm in my Durston tonight, because I thought the wind would be a bit less than this. Well, that's because, might be because we're on the exposed saddle and it's just blasting across there. But look at that little point down there, oh, perfect. Anyway, we'll keep following this and hopefully we'll end up there somewhere. Hopefully. So that's where we were two weeks ago on the other side, walking along the Roman road. And then you've got the knot up to Kersley Pike. We went on to High Rise. And that's when I looked down at this. I think the actual um, crags do beside this little high feature. So it's only early. I'm a bit tired, tell you the truth. I just lost lots of energy, but I'm glad I did that route. Because the way I was going would have took me all the way to the top of there. The beacon, is it Thor's Crag Beacon or something? Anyway, the beacon is over the other side of that hill. Then would, I would have come down here. I've just kind of come across this way. Traversing. But loads of flat spots here. Um, but I think we'll go over there just to see what's there. Well, yeah, I've lost all my energy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a tough climb coming up in the heat. The wind's nice now anyway. Anyway, let's get going. Right, that's us at the cairn on the top of uh, Grey Crag. Some wonderful views. I think I'm going to try and get over here somewhere. So we've got haze water down there. That's what I think we'll do. And we've got these here. Right then. I've still got the energy. Let's get somewhere where the tent's gonna go. I'm in for a lovely evening, I think. So I think I'm gonna get the tent up slow time. And while I'm doing that, I'll show you guys round. All right then. Very peaceful. Lovely. Right then, let's get the tent up. And you have a look round.
the cairn that we're at before is about 400 metres that way. I've dropped down to give me this view for tonight. Not too bad at all. Really, really nice. Right, I'm a bit getting a bit hungry, so I want to get some dinner on soon. Yeah, dinner time. Dinner tonight, uh, I've got some meals for the Snowdonia Way next month, so I thought I'd taste them. Give them a whirl. Scrambled egg with cheese. I'm not sure what that's going to be like. Freeze-fried vanilla ice cream. Uh, apparently you just put it in your mouth. And then I've got this as well. And we've also got some crackers and cheese and stuff, but nice place to have dinner. I've just been sat here chilling, listening to Radio 2. It's getting ready for the European Song Contest. While that's cooking, quickly show you what I showed you before. This space food. It's all freeze dried. Let me just show you inside. And that's what it looks like. So you just put it in your mouth and it kind of re rehydrates in your mouth, you know. Try not to chew it. You can taste the vanilla. I am going to get some of them, I think, because they are super light and very small. And when I'm, when you're doing the hikes, like the snow down your way next month, or any hikes, it's just a nice little pudding. Yeah, I'm going to get some more of them. Wonderful, isn't it? When it's like this. I've just been there watching telly. I've just really been relaxing this evening. Wind's picked up, but it kind of goes right in. Um, shouldn't get any. Shouldn't get strong. If the forecast is correct, and then it'll die down again. Um, I love it when we get a sunset. It's gone quite crazy in the old uh, in the valley. If you look down there, there's hearts up there. I think I can see my car. So I'm going to get in the tent really, uh, get out this wind and just continue watching telly and just relax. That's what today was about, but just relaxing. Anyway, see you in a bit. Again, the valley gone quite misty. I'm gonna get, I've just been chilling out as I said before, I've just been relaxing, uh, not filming, but just chilling out, just really. So, I'm gonna get in the tent now, even though it's not freezing, it's a bit chilly, uh, it's a bit breezy, definitely breezy. Yeah, I've just got enough. All right, then, see you in the morning. morning um, sat well last night it was gusty the wind said it gusty got about you know coming in somewhere about 30 25 to 30 miles an hour uh, tent did a bit of flapping but I slept which is cool um, stretching my legs sorry 
didn't do any sunrises or nothing because it is quite cloudy. I'll show you in a bit what it's like outside. It's about quarter to six now. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yawning. So uh, I'm going to have a coffee. I'm going to have some breakfast. Try that other uh, food that I brought. The is it scrambled egg one. I'm going to try that. Uh, and then we'll start to decamp and work out how we're going to get off the crag and back down to Hartsock. Lovely spot, but it's time to get out now, get out of Dodge. Three ways we can go. We can go the way we came in yesterday, along that side, following past your beck and coming this way. Or we can head back along the crag, and then go the opposite side, along High Street, and down the knot. Or, we can go to the end of Grey Crag, and just go for it. There is a track according to the map that takes you halfway down. I'm not sure how my knee will hold up, but that's the way I'm going. Anyway, let's go for it. Right at the end of Grey Crag now, and just there is a. Br I should. Have, oh, look at that! Uh, 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 lost for words. What a camping spot that is. Much better than the one I had. The, the one I had was great. Um, some great spots. But I pushed out the way a bit more because we're back on this like grassy track uh, and I just got out the way of everybody. But we're coming to the end of this crag now and we'll see what the drop's like. Going to the map, the track ends around here. But I'm sure we can get down that way. We must do because if this is a Wainwright, and I'm sure the Wainwright baggers for those of you who do them, uh, you know, if you're just doing one, you'll come from Hearts Off and straight up and get to the car. So we're going to go this way, drop down somehow, and then we'll pick up that footpath there that takes you into Hearts Off. There's the steep path that takes you up towards the knot. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going this way. So we've come down. Quite an easy descent, really, uh, to where we are. We're on this like, little plateau now before I think it drops again. Uh, it's a bit windy, which is, which is good and twisty. But there's like a well-defined path. So that's uh, made it a lot easier. So we'll keep uh, plodding on. I just hope it doesn't go into a sharp drop now. I hope it keeps going down the way it's gone so far. Nearly down now, we'll join this footpath here. That'll take us into Hartsop to get to this track. Jacket off because it's warmed up again now while we're out the wind. Read your shoelaces uh, and finish last my water. Right, let's get going. All right, that's me, back off the hills now, back onto the tracks. Uh, about a kilometre short of Hartsop and away. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. My next time I'll be out will be the Snowdonia way. So, unfortunately, over the next month, I'm away with work for three weeks. Then I take some leave, then I step off the Snowdonia way. So I won't see you for a while. Um, whatever you're up to, just stay safe, all right? Thanks for watching.